uh hello everyone uh today i'm gonna show you uh about uh set uh, relative uh, location and uh, set uh, world location what is they do and how they work so for that i will uh, create a, a bp uh you can test it in your any project first person third person or your project so i just right button create a actor i name it bp test move you can give whatever name you prefer so i go inside that compile and save and here component i will add a cube uh, it will be in middle default color and i will uh, place my cube into my level in here for testing purpose so inside my bp test move i will create a variable i will name it uh, as a scale scale move uh, you can choose whatever name you prefer i uh, type it as a float float variable so i just uh, add it with the event teeth i set it and then i get its value and i add uh, plus uh, i add a plus value in get and i set i connect it with the set so it will update with every teeth every frame so i give the plus value 0.1 and i then i uh, take the queue reference and from there i search uh, set relative location now you can see there is a three type of uh, uh, value x y and z i just uh, right button and split it so it is split as a x y and z three uh, different uh, output so i add my scale move into the uh, location into the position x so it will move in position x you can see in position x in red mark in there and also in here in level uh, this is the x value so i run it as a simulator so in here i can see it is uh, move at uh, the x axis the red axis and it uh, moving quite slowly because we give the value as a 0.1 so if we give the value as a 1 so it will move quickly so if now we play we can see it is moving more quickly 10 times faster than previously so we can see in uh, this axis we can move as a x y and z so i set it as a y y is uh, in the green type in green position they are uh, the object is moving the actor is moving if i give it as a z it will move up and down so i'm not testing that but if we give two value like uh, x and y then it will move as a middle like there both x and y so you can give a value whatever uh, direction you want to move it it will move there so uh, again if we give x value we can see it is moving to x but in his original location uh, where we place him location where we place him but if we uh, now we add uh, set relay wall to location disconnect the previous one and now i connect the new one a uh, set a world location and here also three value we just split it now if we give in x value in here and if we press play then we don't see the object it's not in here so where is the object object will spawn in here uh, let me show you if i place a cube in here i can see the cube uh, cube uh, if if it's the value is zero 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 then the cube value will be zero 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 it is the world uh, location now if we play we can see our object object come in the zero zero value and it's moving from there in its uh, direction so this is the difference between uh, set world location and set relative location relative location moves uh, the object from which ever we place him and the world location moves its uh, bring back it into the world origin like you can see uh, in world location the location y and z is zero zero so it bring it to the zero zero 
now if we again if we move it uh, in the set relative location in y axis it will move through there in the green point arrow it is moving towards there but uh, if we add it with the world location in x axis it will move as the x axis as you see previously and if we place it in y uh, direction it will move into y direction in world origin like there so i hope you understand the difference between uh, set uh, relative location and uh, set uh, world location you can see the difference in z value also so this is the main difference i hope you can understand it uh, so if you like my uh, video please subscribe my channel to see more video like this bye bye